Now in this series of videos, we will be discussing how do you go about planning your preparation for DILR section in CAT, right? So I have divided the entire DILR syllabus which can be covered into 9 to 10 weeks. And in this video, I will be talking about what you should be doing in the very first week, right? So here in the very first week, your topic area, your target topic area should be two topics. And the first one is the linear arrangements and the second one is the multidimensional arrangements. Once you are done with the linear arrangement, it, it will give you immense confidence to handle questions which require multidimensional arrangements. That is the reason this is the sequence or this is the combination which I have taken and it should be done in the very first week. Now the time required is 15 to 20 hours depending upon how you are, uh, uh, how much time you are left with for the preparation. If you have a good amount of time and definitely you give more time than what I have suggested. But yes, this is the minimum hours you would be requiring to complete these two topics extensively right in the very first week you don't have to go for a uh, difficult level of sets in any of these topics you have to only focus on going for a easier sets or a moderate set from the course which i have provided right and in some time i'll also tell you that which particular sets you should be targeting now the next thing is that within a week your minimum target should be to solve 10 to 15 sets right you can do more than that but yes these are the minimum this whatever i'm suggesting here is the minimum thing which you have to do now, as I said that the level of difficulty has to be easy to moderate. Do not go for a very difficult set. The reason being is that you are just starting and uh, since all those sets which are difficult or when we categorize it difficult, they are not uh, from a very one particular area. They would not be only from the linear element or only from the say games and tournament or something like that. It will have some combination of many topics. So once you are exposed to all the topics or majority of the topics, it is not advisable that you should go for a difficult level of sets, right? We will be coming up in the second round. So in the coming videos, I will be telling you in which week you should be doing those uh, difficult level of sets and why you should be doing it. Now, this is just about the suggestion that what you should be doing in the week one, what would be the key focus area? Now, the key focus area is that once you are solving any, any set, then after solving, you'll be provided with the video explanations, right? So you have to use this video explanations very, very effectively. How you should be using? In the video explanation, you have to focus on these four areas. The first thing is that what is the structure in which the data has been put, right? Of course, since it's a linear arrangement, then the data would be put either in the horizontal lines or in a vertical lines right in a multi-dimensional there will be more than one rows or more than one columns now second thing is the key condition this is the most important thing while going through the video explanation you will find that there was certain conditions or the combination of conditions which actually cracked the set and those conditions are very very vital or the or their combination and how they have been used so these are the things which you have to pick from the video explanation and you have to give some thought over it so that it should uh, become a part of your approach while handling such sets right then the third and very obvious thing is that you have to focus on the logical approach you don't have to depend upon hit and trial thing right you have to focus on the logical approach because this is the approach which gives you the optimized way of solving the set these are the key focus area which you should be doing in every set you are solving after solving, it may happen that you will not be able to solve it. So obviously you have to go through the video explanation or it may happen that you have solved the set, but still you have to go for the video explanation because it, it is quite possible that your method might not be the most optimized method which we have provided in the video explanation. Now, let me tell you that from where you will be finding these videos. So once you are in the course of say DILR course, you will be getting these folders, right? So uh, in this folder, you will be finding the uh, live sessions and these are the sectional tests and this you have to ignore for the time being. We have to focus on these two folders. So what I have done is that I have categorized the logical reasoning sets separately with data interpretation sets. So you have to go to the last folder that is logical reasoning sets with video explanations. Within that I have categorized all the uh, logical reasoning sets in different topics as you can see. Right. So here in the very first week you have to focus on the first topic that is linear arrangements and the seventh topic, which is multidimensional arrangement, both are interlinked, right? Once you have done with the linear arrangement, you'll find at ease while solving multidimensional arrangement. So what you have to do is that you have to go and solve all the easier sets which we have provided under linear arrangements, right? So for example, if you go to the very first sets, then this is in the form of test, but the time limit is not given. 
so you can take your own time to solve the sets once you are satisfied that you have done or uh, you have given enough the, enough of the time and you have submit the sets then definitely you can watch the video explanations right so here if you go for the video explanations in this particular tab if you click then you'll be getting the video explanation and in this video explanation you can just pause the video whenever you feel like that from now onwards i can carry on and solve the set if you didn't manage to solve the set this is how you have to imbibe the best way or best approaches to solve the sets right so i have uh, given almost 250 sets so approximately within the mm, two and a half months to three months all the sets or majority of the sets should be completed other weeks videos will be provided to you in time to come apart from this what you have to do is that since we are taking the live sessions as well so live session will also be in sync with the weekly study plan so in the live session i'll also be taking in the first week i'll be focusing more on the linear and dimensional uh, multi-dimensional elements so that in the live session not only you get reinforcement reinforcement of whatever we have done whatever you have done on your own but it will also be used for the doubt clearing and any other specific area which i feel like that you should be knowing from these two uh, topics that will also be discussed and once even if you miss the live session, the live sessions are provided here as you can see. So the live sessions you will find uh, in the course itself but in a different folder. So you have to go into the very first folders and here you can see that in the very top I have provided this particular section which is CAT22 live, live LRDI sessions. So here what I do is that I put the recordings of the live session right now it's uh, it is only three sessions but as and when the live session happens the recordings will be put here so you have to visit the live session if you missed it or if you feel like to do the revision you can do the same 